it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to Norway and Triplex 2016. IHP Triplex is one of the largest humanitarian field exercises in the world. This year it brought together around 36 organisations and over 70 nationalities who experienced a safe environment to test their humanitarian response mechanisms. It is an amazing participation in this year's Triplex. I do think this must be some kind of all-time high participation. In terms of numbers, not that big an exercise, but counting in the role players and the host nation support, somewhere around 500 people in total involved in the exercise. Obviously, the main difference between a real disaster and exercise is that we need to have exercise control. That means the functions that will steer, control and monitor the exercise. So today we have uh, gathered all incoming colleagues uh, from across the world that will work in exercise control in Triplex this year. But all of us now are in some way or another on the right side in the grey box and we will do different functions in leading and supporting, managing the exercise. So we are going through the different functions, the role, responsibilities and working down in smaller groups, looking into the activities that will take place during the exercise. So all different issues on how to communicate, observe and monitor the exercise is discussed. So we make sure that we have a common understanding and can work as a team when the participants will start their exercise. We are not here for training ourselves, but to facilitate and deliver a good exercise for the participants. So the exercise control is actually two parts. The people working in this building monitoring the exercise, but they rely totally on information they will receive from the controllers, which are the people working out in the fields. So the controllers will be all around where the activity is taking place, monitoring, observing and feeding information back to the exercise control core group. I know that you guys are quite busy, so we managed to get them fairly close to your location at about 2 o'clock. As a part of the exercise control, all participating teams and organizations have a representative in the so-called XCON response cells. So they will be playing local headquarters or regional offices to be in contact with and interact with their field teams. So they play an important part of the exercise control they have been involved in throughout the whole planning process and will now during the exercise work in the exercise control. So all participating organizations will have the representative in the exercise control. In order to uh, facilitate the incoming of all these teams and colleagues from across the world, we need a massive host nation support organization. In Triplex, the host nation support functions are mainly carried out by the Norwegian Civil Defense. Over 150 conscripts from the civil defense are in working to support the exercise. So after yesterday when all the participants arrived, we this morning had the uh, official opening ceremony. Uh, greetings from ECHO, UN OCHA, the local mayor and the exercise director. Of course, the ISP chairman and that is what Triplex is all about. And we have the capability to put boots and brains on the ground to really make a difference in real operational response where it counts. IHP Triplex 2016 started with two days of different workshops offering insight into the latest topics, tools and mechanisms that drive humanitarian response in the real world. The three days of real-time exercise that followed provided the participants with the opportunity to practice their craft and some of the new things they'd just learned. So it's on. This is it. This is your chance to go and be humanitarians, as Guy said, in a safe environment. This is the situation overview. So you're in Sorland and you're in the southern tip and hurricane windblown has hit. Uh, there has been a request for international assistance. And that's you. Have a happy trip, please. All participants are now starting the mission. They are deploying into this fictitious country in the simulated aircraft. So what we are expecting to see tonight is them all gathering in the base camp, establishing the coordination structure with the, the on-site operation coordination center 
and having the first meeting with local authorities. I have a meeting with the head of the local emergency management agency for the country. Hello, sir. Hey. James Brown. Hello, sir. James Brown. Go to Mola. The international community are present. Okay, so you know what we're coming to do here? No. Okay. Uh, we're, we're coming today to get a better idea of what's happening in the area. The participants had an opportunity to work on assessment, coordination and initial response planning within a realistic scenario with many of their usual response partners. United Nations agencies, EU civil protection, the Red Cross and Red Crescent family, international NGOs, the military, the private sector and this time our hosts, the Norwegian Civil Defence Directorate. So please try and coordinate with all of us. Same with with medical teams, guys. Yeah? We can't force you to do anything. If you want to go in your two cars, go. But it's seriously not recommended. The other thing is we've got to try and coordinate these questions. Some assessments are going out and asking WASH questions when we've got the WASH cluster there. And we have we have we spoken to the WASH cluster, the people who are doing these other WASH clients? And how about in terms of um, people financially? Do they have money to spend on food? Yeah, some have money, but they can't get the food. Yeah, there is someone is asking more questions for us. She didn't bring us any food, but she's asking a lot of questions. I'm sorry. There's people who are so sick. I haven't been able to get out of my shelter. <laughs> Alright, well, even just no satellites, like we cannot contact you. Okay, we don't have any satellites. And even satellite. by phone, it's quite challenging. Right, right. Oh, oh, oh. Help! 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 Fire! 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 During the exercise, the participants were accommodated in the IHP camp. The IHP camp is supporting the humanitarian community with accommodation, office, meeting facility, ICT, food and medical uh, facility. The IHP camp is a flexible concept which can, which can be adjusted to the context of the mission. The camp concept consists from 20 to 250 beds which could be adjusted to the requesting organization, usually a UN organization. Entering the camp, you register in the reception and you get your accommodation location in a tent. The food is a mixed menu to support all the different requirements from the participants. And this is an IHP kitchen, fully functional kitchen as you would with Expect it from a restaurant or a hotel. Well, now in this uh, exercise here, we're going to be serving around 350 people uh, each meal. In the medical facility, the IHP camp have European standard for medical treatment. So uh, our main uh, focus is the IHP uh, workers on the camp, and the second focus is uh, the UN or. Um, other NGOs who is actually staying in, in, in the camp. The ICT officers support the camp with internet solutions, 
and radio communications. We are here with the first deployment kit, the rapid kit with the gate antenna to uh, deploy uh, internet connectivity on this site. Normally, if everything uh, runs right, we have 30 to 40 minutes to, to put everything in and to be online. This one is uh, for the Wi-Fi connection. You can see it, we have put it on the highest on the flag yeah. to, have, um, to reach as, as much as possible the people here on the camp. The opportunity to meet new colleagues, form new networks and learn more about the mandates, resources and ways of working of different organisations is invaluable. And the positive effect it has on real humanitarian response is undeniable. And the European Commission, for this reason, is very happy to, to co-finance this exercise to a very large extent. Uh, it is actually one of our star exercises in, in, in this respect, because there is no other exercise in this format. And with this, I declare the end of exercise 2016. Thank you. It was well organized and well executed, but above all, it was great fun. Um, so our main lessons learned have been about coordinating the field team, better coordination with other donors and with the UN agencies. We've met loads of colleagues, uh, counterparts from the UN, ECHO and NGOs as well. Uh, so we had a few great lessons learned from the, the triplex, some of them being that uh, first of all this is a great exercise um, and secondly that it's a, it's a great opportunity to not only test our headquarters staff and some of the professional humanitarian to do this day in day out but also some of our volunteer doctors and nurses who we regularly bring in for multiple emergencies every year and getting them exposed to, to stuff like this, which they really get uh, very little opportunity to, even during an emergency. Um, so I've learned a lot about the cluster system. I've learned a lot about how huge the Triplex operation is. Yeah. Absolutely, incredibly impressive. Most of us felt that we were in a real scenario and we felt that pressure. Uh, the weather conditions were really challenging for us, so Actually, it was also a learning opportunity how to deal with uh, difficult weather conditions. And furthermore, it was great to see how the different organizations are working close together. This, uh, this exercise gives you an opportunity to, um, because we're all in the same system, we are still humanitarians, we are responding on disasters in uh, different countries, on different disasters, we meet each other. So this exercise gives a good example how we should work together. It, it sort of, as, I'm, as I'm new to the exercise and new to the whole humanitarian world, it was great to understand how it would work in the field and the broad structure um, of, of the whole thing, of the humanitarian process. It was uh, really interesting. One thing that I learned, coordination among different partners, it's key in this kind of situation, a humanitarian emergency situation. Coordination is key. That's, the only, that's my take home message. Thank you very much for your visit. I wish you a good and safe trip back home. Hope to see you again.